Hi everyone, this is Marva Riley and I'm preparing a talk that I'll be delivering at a church uh, in a couple weeks and the title is Self-Care. And there are a couple of scriptures that have jumped out at me recently to remind me and for me to remind you how important it is to God that we take the best care of ourselves. And I wanted to share them with you because oftentimes we, we read these scriptures as we read the Bible or we might hear it being read when we go to church or temple or wherever our house of worship is. But we don't, we don't pay a lot of attention sometimes to these scriptures or we don't understand. And I wanted to kind of uh, talk a little bit about that real quickly. And the first one that re resonated with me is found in uh, 1 Corinthians 6, verse 19 to 20. And uh, this is my old Bible. I've read this Bible eight times <laughs> from cover to cover. See how worn it is and marked up and highlighted. I learned a lot from the Bible. And 1 Corinthians 6 verse 19 to 20 states, Do you not know? Let me start again. Do, don't you realize that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit who lives in you and was given to you by God? You do not belong to yourself, for God bought you with a high price. So you must honor God with your body, not just our spirit, but our body. Isn't that profound? Because sometimes, you know, as uh, Christians or whatever faith we are, spiritually we we feel that we're okay because we're connected to that higher being we're connected to god we're connected to jesus we're connected to allah to whomever whatever we call um that higher being we feel that we're connected we're born again we we're baptized whatever ritual we do and we pray a lot and we fast a lot but Oftentimes, we don't realize how important our body is to God. So we must honor God with our body. That's 1 Corinthians 6, verse 19 to 20. The second scripture that I wanted to read to you is taken from 3 John 1, verse 2. And 3 John 1, verse 2 says, This, this uh, book was written by John the Elder. Um, and he was writing it to Gaius, his friend. And he says, Dear friend, I hope all is well with you and that you are as healthy in body as you are strong in spirit. I hope you are as healthy in body as you are strong in spirit. So based on these two scriptures, my friends, it is important as Christians, as believers of whatever faith, as we're taking care of our spirit, our spiritual health journey, it's important also to take care of this physical body that God has bought with a price. How do we do that? We watch what we put into our mouths. We watch what we eat. Some things were not meant to be eaten. You know, if, if they're not going to nourish our bodies and strengthen our bodies, we should think twice about eating them. You know what I mean? We should stay physically active, exercise, walk, whatever exercise you like to do, swim. But we've got to keep this body, this temple, moving, 
exercise is medicine it's good for the joints it's good for the blood pressure it's good for diabetes good for sleep good for depression so many things and we must make sleep a priority my friends because when we get a good night's sleep the next day we're in a better mood we're better able to help and minister to other people and uh, we're better for ourselves you know what i mean we're more energetic we're less likely to grab the junk food we gotta enjoy life look at these beautiful um, plants and the butterflies and the birds that god has put on earth for us to enjoy we've got to make time to enjoy these things and get outside and enjoy the sun which gives us so much energy and it's good for us Everything that God has put on this earth, the fresh air, the, the sun, the plants, the flowers, the moon, is for our enjoyment and for our health. So be sure to make time for that. And let me tell you, we were not put on this earth to be stressed out. So ask God to help you to find a way to release that stress and to minimize that stress and to enjoy life better and to the fullest there's another scripture i don't quite remember where it's found but i'm sure you know it and it says god wants us to live life abundantly abundantly in every way very healthy very happy very content very much at peace and just enjoying everything around us including our families and our friends and nature and just enjoy being spend time quiet time by yourself so that you can connect with spirit do you think you can do that start today don't wait it's summer it's a perfect time to start incorporating all of what i just mentioned as you try your best to take care of the temple of god this is marva riley and take care if you like this please like subscribe and share with your friends and family thank you so much